Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alan from Sailor V3. Today I'm going solo. Heather's uh, going to be busy with the kiddo right now. We wanted to put together a real quick video on how we are going to convert one of our hanging closets into a shelved closet. The idea behind this is that we feel like we can get better space utilization if we remove all the hanging shirts and pants out of this one closet. Here's what you need for this project if you want to do something similar. We are going to use a standard wire shelf. You can pick this up at any hardware store. In addition to that, we're going to use uh, the 3M command hooks. We're going to specifically use the 3M command hooks that hold three pounds. So uh, that, and then you also need something to cut the wires with. That's basically it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what we do. It's measure, mark, cut, and then hang them up. And here we go. Alright guys, well here it is. This is the, uh, unfortunately there's there's not enough space between here to give you guys a full view of what we're going to do today. But this is the uh, the hanging closet that we're going to try to convert today. Uh, <laughs> that top portion is all we really cared about. We have, you know, vitamins and food stuff here. We're going to try to develop a little bit more space here and all these shirts that I have stacked up inside of here are going to be gone. So, uh, yep, first step. Let's clean out this mess and then we'll start uh, hanging stuff. And the goal is eventually to get rid of all the uh, hangers all together. All right. All right guys, so we got the closet cleaned out right now. We are looking at 27 inches on the height and roughly about 23 inches on the width. Uh, the goal for me right now is to get at least two shelves in here. And if we do that right at 27 inches, we'll just break it into thirds, so that's a shelf every nine inches. And we can do uh, two shelves easily. And that gives about nine inches of clearance on each shelf. Might be a little tight on some of them, but you know, I think that'll work because then that gives me a third on each one of the spaces and I can get to the top and if I have to I'll remove the uh, the hanging bar for the hangers. I don't know what's going on but you know what I'm talking about. Alright, we'll see what it does. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this upside down. That pulls the lip for the hanger up and that'll keep things from sliding off the rack while we're moving around in the trailer, specifically when the trailer is moving itself. Um, also we're going to use a light bar underneath. This happens to be nine and one quarter inches, which is perfect for the fact that we're going to split this into thirds. We'll use this as our spacer to set it up. So, all right, let's go ahead and line this up. I'm going to turn on this light and see if we can get a space set up. Alright guys, well there it is, the before and the after, still can't get rid of the bread for some reason, <laughs> but uh, yep, so we got, got some shelves, made up a lot of space, um, the wife vetoed the uh, removal of the uh, hanger bar, so we'll have to wait for another time, but there we go. Alright guys, that about does it. It's short and simple. If you have any questions or comments, please throw them down below. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. And we have a couple more videos coming out. Most of them are how-to right now. And then we're gonna get back to some traveling videos. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Bye.